Jotaro Kujo is a man with many kids, and by that I mean he has two. Now you might be asking, two kids? That isn't true. Well, yes, I know, Jolene is very forgettable, but we have to remember that Jotaro has had two kids in the lifespan of Jojo itself. He had his daughter Jolene with a- Woman? Does that just say woman? That doesn't just say- it just says woman. And he had his son with Kakuin, born from an egg, in a doujin made by Clamp. This kid's name is Jota Kujo. And you know, I was sitting here wondering, which of these two was stronger? Could Jolene defeat Jota? Could Jota defeat Jolene? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna start with Jolene first and her stand, Stone Free. Its abilities are string manipulation. She can unravel her body and turn it into a very strong and durable string. It is unknown if this has a finite amount of string to it or if it's infinite in itself, but she can use it to sew up her wounds, give long distance hearing, and she can also mold her body into different shapes and objects. She can create things like handcuffs, and she can turn her body into like a Mobius strip. Though, speaking of wounding things together to create objects, Jolene can exchange her near limitless range for sheer power when she gathers all of her strings together and creates a more punch ghost shaped version of her stand. This allows Jolene to strike with the force of roughly a small asteroid is what it says. Which when I did the math on that came out to be nearly two and a half tons of force. Which is quite a lot honestly, easily enough to easily enough to kill anyone it hits. Though, it does drop her range down to the 2 centimeter range. And let's speak about her stats real quick. She has an A in destructive power, but that is only when everything's wound together. A B in speed, a C in range, but that's only when everything's wound together. She has nearly infinite range when it's unwound. A A in durability, a C in precision, and A in developmental potential. I think this puts Jolene at a pretty strong standing point. She's actually, her stand's actually really cool. And we also saw that she can survive some brutal fights in the Westwood jail arc. So, she has some durability to herself, so Jolene is pretty strong. But, let's get into our next hero. Born as a symbol of true love from Jotaro and Kakuin, Jota Kujo is a powerful stand user. He ages rapidly to the point that he goes from an egg baby to a preschooler in a few days, but his aging slows as he gets older. Though we're not personally here to talk about Jota, we're here to talk about his stand, Charmy Green. So, Charmy Green was unlocked after he was defending himself from his father, Jotaro Kujo. Its appearance is that of Star Platinum, but like really small, and he has like poofy pants, and he's adorable but then he grows up to look like just regular Star Platinum. And its powers are also a combination of Star Platinum and Hierophant Green. He has the ability to unlock all of the abilities of those stands, since his birth was that of two souls coming together and creating life, and not two bodies coming together and creating life. Though, these powers are usually combined together, like instead of just possessing the regular Star Finger, he possesses Emerald Star Finger, which is an Emerald Splash mixed with the Star Finger ability. So that means that Star Platinum and Chimey Green are the same kind of stand, which also means that Jota has the ability to possess Time Stop, though, assuming that it has to be mixed with one of Hierophant Green's abilities, it would probably result in a 20 meter barrier anytime anyone comes in contact with any of the barrier sides. Charmy Green also possesses his own stand cry of Yura Yura Yura, with one of his secret moves being a play on the Aura Strike from Star Platinum. It is the Yura Strike. By the time we reach part 4 in the story of Jojo, or at least in the story that Jodo exists in, he has spent 10 years training with Jotaro, so it's quite possible he's learned a lot of martial arts or some form of combat training. And finally, we have no idea how much stamina he possesses and how much stand strength he does, because he's able to use Charmy Green as effective as he is able to use it as an adult as a kid. So we don't know if he has like a limitless amount of stamina, or if Charmy Green takes no stamina to use any of its abilities from. So that means that he could probably use Time Stop longer than Jotaro could. In fact, I'm almost sure he can with the amount that he's able to do just as a child. So now, who would win this encounter, this fight? Well, my ball's in Jota's court. He has Star Platinum Speed, which I remind you is faster than light, so that blows Stone Freeze 2 ton punch right out of the water. Charmy Green's range is also not, not limited and it doesn't degrade the power that Stone Ocean's range does. Jolene loses to Time Stop hands down no matter what. No matter how powerful you hit, no matter how fast you can possibly go, if your time is frozen, it is impossible for you to fight back. It, like, imagine a situation in which Jota and Jolene are surrounded by his time stop 20 meter barrier. All he has to do is tap his own stretched Charmy Green, and he's able to freeze time, do his business, and then walk away. 
the only chance Jolene has is to wear him out. As we've seen, that Joda has a lot of stamina, and Jolene is not a very perceptive person, allowing Poochie to sneak up and throw knives at her in many different scenarios. I think it's very obvious that Joda would come out the victor in this fight. If you have any cool ideas of how Joda's Charmy Green could work, or like different abilities it would have since you have to combine Star Platinum and Hierophant Green together, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like. If you want to support me, I have a thing on Patreon.com called Patreon.com slash guy, and you can give me a dollar there, and I'll be really happy. Other than that, have a lovely day.